Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I created this faux freckle, kind of soft glam look. This is the eye I've been kind of going to a lot lately. I wore this eye in one of my last videos, different lashes, but I wore this eye. And I kind of just want to create something fun and I wore these faux freckles to work like a week or so ago. And everyone was like, your skin's so pretty. I'm like, girl, this is so fake, but hey, it works. I used just two pencils to do my freckles. Now, if you wanted to use something like Anastasia's Dip Brow and kind of mix it with either Fix Plus or Duraline from Inglot, you could totally do that or even a cool toned eyeliner that is just not too dark. You can totally use whatever you want to. I just like to use the cooler, ashier tones, but the pencils work well for me, so that's just what I did. Anywho, if you like to see how I created this look, just keep watching. So the very first thing is I'm starting out with my foundation and concealer done. I didn't use as light, like it's still light, but I didn't use as light of a concealer underneath my eyes. And the reason being is because people that have natural freckles, they tend to be actually a little bit darker where their freckles are, not like darker, darker, but just a little bit darker there because you have so many, the little dot pigmentations. So I tried not to go as light with my concealer. And then I'm going to use just these two products here. I'm using taupe eye pencil from Mac and then stone lip pencil. Taupe, I don't think can get, can get any more, but anything that is cool, ashy tone is what you want to use. Don't use anything too brown or just Stick with something ashy, it's a little easier. <laughs> and I'm just making sure that these are sharpened and I didn't put any powder on my face to set anything because if these were natural freckles, then you would be putting powder and all your makeup on top of your freckles. So I want it to look a little bit more natural. So I'm gonna start off with a taupe pencil and I'm going to first just start dotting I'm kind of placing the pencil down and twisting. You want to make sure that it is definitely sharpened so that you're getting a clean dot every time. And another thing is you do not want to sit here and try to be super symmetrical. Symmetrical it does, is not a word that you can relate to with freckles. And now I'm taking my damp beauty blender that I just used for my makeup and I am pressing these into the skin. Also, freckles tend to be more in the center of the face and not like spread out everywhere. So I'm concentrating them on my cheeks, nose, a little bit here, maybe a few on my chin, but then I'm not gonna put them everywhere else. But I'm just going to go in layers. And I start to go a little faster after I've set down the first few. Again, I'm not sitting here trying to be super symmetrical with them. So if there's a bigger one, that's okay because there's big, 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 There's a bigger freckles in the natural world. <laughs> this is what you say when you don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, just ignore me. Make sure you are pressing the beauty blender, not dragging. And I'm just gonna keep on repeating this process until I move on to the other color. Every time you're going over and you're creating more and more layers, you're getting kind of like the background freckles and then the top freckles. It just, it creates a much more natural appearance. And now I'm gonna go in with stone and I'm gonna do the same thing. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and finish off my face with the powder. Typically, I like to use the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Diffuse Light to set underneath my eyes, but because I don't want it to be super duper duper bright there, I'm going to use one powder all over. Today, I'm going to use the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Powder, and I'm going to use this because it's not going to add any color to my skin. It's not going to add, like really anything. It's just going to make it a really smooth appearance and not take away from anything. And I like this powder still underneath my eyes because it's so light. So it's going to set everything for me. I'm just going to tap this on. You can see my freckles are still there. 
and I look like a ghost, but when I spray my face at the end, it'll make that go away. And I'm gonna go now and add on my blush and my bronzer. And for that, let me see what I'm gonna use. I want to have a radiant finish to my skin, so I'm gonna use the Luminous Bronze Light from Hourglass. And I'm just gonna bronze up my skin. And when I'm doing this, like I'm not losing any of my freckles, but I will probably go back after I'm done with my powder and add a few more just so that they're a little bit more pronounced than the other ones. I'm gonna take a little bit of this bronzer right across the bridge of my nose. Again, just adding to the natural factor of having the freckles. Oh, I can't think. For blush, I have apparently attended <laughs> Gingerly Anonymous. Somebody wrote that, I don't remember who it was, but I was laughing so hard. So part of my rehab program is to not use Gingerly all the time, so we're gonna use Cantaloupe instead by MAC, and I'm just gonna pop that on the cheeks. I'm gonna blend out the edges of this, just with a MAC 188. And then I'm gonna spray my face using some Fix Plus. My face is super dry right now, so I find that I'm gonna be adding more powders because I like to take a finishing powder over everything. So taking this and then putting it back over makes it look more like skin again, and then when I put the powder back on, it won't be too much. So I'm gonna let this sink in, I'm gonna do my brows, and then we will start on the eyes. Okay, brows are on, and I've primed my eyes, and now I'm gonna go ahead and powder up my face again. This is what I typically do with the La Mer V powder, but I'm trying to use other things. So I'm gonna use this Sicily Paris, what is this called? Photo, uh, yeah, I don't know. Loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract. I think I was trying to read like the foreign language on there. I mean, go me. This package is quite messy, but I'm gonna dip in here with <laughs> my La Mer brush, cause why not? And I'm just gonna buff everything out. So I'm gonna tap, 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 tap. And, ooh, this has a scent to it, that's for sure. I just love how doing this gives me a little bit more radiance to my skin and it blurs out any lines you might have. Now, I thought that my freckles might go away a little bit and I was gonna add a few on top of the powder, but I don't think I need to. If you do feel like you need to, just go right on ahead and do so, but I don't feel like I need to, so I'm gonna move on to the eyes. Okay, this eye look is literally the simplest thing in the world. I'm going to take Anastasia Fresh and I'm popping that all over and that's gonna kind of set that soft ochre paint pot and make it a little bit brighter. And I'm using a MAC 227 to do so. With a 217 for MAC, I'm going to grab, also from Anastasia, orange soda, tap off the excess, start right here in this outer V and just kind of make little circular motions and then start pushing it up into the crease right out here. I'm gonna put a few layers of this. I'm not dragging it all the way in, I'm literally keeping it on this outside corner. Still sticking with orange soda, but I grabbed a NARS pencil brush, and I'm going to pop this underneath my lower lash line. MAC 221, and I'm gonna grab Buon Fresco, I think that's how you say it, and I'm gonna place this right in this outer V. Kinda tap, 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 and just buffing it in this section right here, but I'm not going ham with it. And then I'm going to bring it right up into the crease, but do not surpass this area right here. Same color, NARS pencil brush, and I'm going on the outer part right here, just to kind of, kind of connect right here and here. I'm gonna go back in with that same pencil brush. I'm gonna grab Dusty Rose. It's just a little bit darker than what Ron Fresco is. And I'm just gonna go on this lash line, just on this outer edge. So when I put on my lashes, there's a little bit more depth here, but I don't wanna do liner. 
Last step for the eyes before lashes is MAC Soft Serve Eyeshadow in Pleat Guilty and a MAC 242. I get some of this on my brush and just pop it right on this inner corner here and then dab it to blend over the purple shade. Just gives a little, a little bit of a pop. For mascara, I'm using MAC's Insta Curl Lash and I'm going to coat the top and the bottom lashes with this and then I'm going to do my lashes and for those I'm not sure yet but I'll tell you. Okay so I went ahead and I did my lashes. These are Salon Perfect number 615 and then I put Bite Beauty Honeycomb on my lips. I was going to put a gloss on but I was like me I don't feel like it. Now I'm going to highlight a little bit. I don't want to be like too glowy, but I want a little bit there. So I'm going to use the Hourglass uh, Strobe Light, and this is in Brilliant Strobe Light. And I'm going to use my Wayne Goss number three to pop this on. So I'm going to put some right up here and just kind of spread it out. Tip of the nose bridge, a little on the cupids, or maybe a lot. <laughs> so this is the finished look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tag me if you recreate this look. I think it's super fun and cute and kind of youthful. But anywho, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.